Greetings, Assy here, and you're listening to the July 2023 edition of All Goth Considered with Obscure and Dead. This month, we're going to be hearing from three incredible modern bands from around the U.S., including a synth-pop darkwave band making waves here in Florida, a brand new goth death rock act out of Denver, and new music from a legendary Chicago duo. So refill your wine glass, teacup, coffee mug, or water glass, and let's dive into these dark waters together. I haven't been going to as many shows as I'd like to lately, and this is part of the reason why I slept so long on Tampa's synth-laden Darkwave Act Offerings. Offerings is the solo project and musical outlet from Brianna Bullock. I recently caught her opening for Bestial Mouths, and I was really deeply impressed with Brianna's engaging and emotional stage presence. From her catchy melodic hooks, rich textures, beautifully haunting vocals, deeply emotional lyrics, and danceable backing beats, I am just absolutely blown away that this is her first foray into music making. I'm genuinely grateful for the opportunity to get to cover bands local to my scene, but I do not expect offerings to stay local for long. So I caught Brianna after her show and asked her to speak to one of the songs she performed during her set, Unbecoming. Let's hear from her. Hey, it's Brianna from Offerings. I wanted to talk about my song, Unbecoming. Unbecoming is about being young, naive, and impressionable and putting trust into the wrong people. I wanted to add a trap style beat as I like to add various electronic elements in my music. Have a listen and I hope you enjoy.
right, across the Mississippi and deep into the Rocky Mountains is Denver, a city that has a very long history of being a hotbed for the goth subculture. And the music being made today is no exception. The brand new goth rock band Ceremonial Leather is the solo project of Damien, who also plays guitar for another Denver band, Play Garden. Because every strong goth scene gets a little incesty music-wise, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm really pleased to be able to feature his first ever single, She Speaks, which is a goth rock ballad of sorts with drum machines, bright heavily reverbed guitars, and vocal stylings in the vein of Carl McCoy and Troy Payne circa 1994. The song is fittingly considering the drought and wildfires afflicting that part of the US, an ode to the wrath of mother nature. I'm looking forward to future singles, but for now we have to be content with She Speaks. Damien tells us more. Greetings. This is Damien from Ceremonial Leather, which is a solo project of sorts where I write and perform all of the music myself. Although I also write all of the lyrics for the project, guest vocals for the song She Speaks were beautifully performed by Fernando Altanaga of the band Play Garden, uh, which is a band that I also play guitar for. When I wrote the lyrics for She Speaks, I wanted to personify the wrath of Mother Nature as she inevitably exacts her vengeance on humankind. There are obviously many wonderful individual people on the planet, but overall as a species, humans have proven to be short-sighted, selfish, and absolutely destructive. So with this song, the she that I'm referring to is Mother Nature herself. And she speaks to us, not with words, but with action. And these lyrics are a cautionary tale of her wrath as she cleanses the earth of its worst enemy, which happens to be us. Basically wiping the slate clean, and inevitably starting anew.
last but far from least we head to the great lake city chicago which is also being affected by the wildfires burning in canada to speak with william faith and sarah rose of the bellwether syndicate i caught them after they returned from playing treffen for i believe the second time and after william returned from the uk where he was touring with the march violets between william and sarah they have a combined 80 years of goth musical knowledge between them Sarah has been the beating heart of the Chicago goth scene since the 80s, hosting parties and spinning her flagship event, Nocturna. And William has a musical rap sheet as long as my arm, from Faith in the Muse, Christian Death, Mephisto Walls, and more. It's a pleasure to be able to feature Dystopian Mirror off their much-anticipated sophomore release, Vestige and Vigil. A Dystopian Mirror is an incredibly heavy and richly textured goth rock track with guitars that move between chugging, melodic, and jangly, with William's tenor cutting in and out, showing off his stylistic range. The track really imparts a feeling of barely controlled cacophony and is a deeply personal song for the band. William and Sarah tell us more. Dystopian Mirror was written about a mutual friend of ours who we lost way too early owing to the ravages of alcohol and drug abuse resulting in extreme psychological problems and ultimately taking his own life. It was a horrible shock because the times when we were close with him, his personality was so very, very different. So it was a double shock, really. The, the personality change, seeing the, the ravages of what his mind had put him through and then um, hearing the, the horrible news about his demise. As time had gone on, we found that we were still experiencing a great degree of anger and a sense of loss around this. And a decade later, it really was still there. It still felt very fresh. So exercising that in song form was really our our way of dealing with it. And the narrative in the song itself is, the lyric rather is meant to be the voices in his head sort of documenting his descent into the realm of the unwell. It was just a very tragic moment for both of us and uh, the song is really our therapy for the whole thing. It was our way of dealing with it.
Hey, thanks for listening, friend bats. For more, please follow me on most major social media platforms under the handle Obscure and Dead, and let me know what I should be listening to. Y'all really turned out last month and sent me some very cool up-and-coming bands that I'm excited to dig into, so keep them coming. And if you like the show and you want to support me, help keep the lights on, help me pay for my editing software, you know, buy me a cup of coffee. <laughs> Check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash obscureundead or send me a tip on PayPal to obscureundead at gmail.com. All right. Take care of yourselves, my friends. Love you. Bye-bye.